Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So let us uh, start this lecture with a thought process. The meeting of two personalities is like the contact of two chemical substances. If there is any reaction, both are transformed, right? Yes or no? So that is also a similar thing to what is happening. It is told by the C. J. Jung. And let us recall that we discuss about elementary reactions and also why the single step chemistry is not mimicking the nature right and then we uh, looked at uh, basically how to write the reaction particularly for multi step chemistry in a compact way and so also the reaction rate and uh, towards the end i also discuss about uh, there is a need for to uh, find out the um, you know expression for the reaction rate coefficient or specific reaction rate and invoking the collision theory. Right. Collision theory means basically there will be collisions between the uh, what we call molecules and atoms right that right which will be moving randomly and when it is moving randomly then we will have to look at the kinetic theory of an ideal gas. Keep in mind that we are keeping the ideal gas in our mind. Why? because ideal gas can be utilized used very easily for combustion problem being at higher temperature and moderate pressure right so let us look at we will take a cube right where the uh, these particles are moving randomly it is moving here and there they will be colliding each other right and uh, for uh, that we will make some assumption what is happening and uh, that is basically assumption for the kinetic theory of gases. So, what we are assuming that this uh, container or any cube or something we are considering which may be any shape, but we are taking a, a cuboid. It contains a large number of molecules with spherical shape whose size and mass are identical, right? but they vary from gas to gas. Keep in mind these are assumptions. Right? need not to be same right uh, spherical size because uh, you have seen the molecules you know uh, are various shapes and depending on what it is but we are considering for the simplicity and total volume of all individual gas molecule is negligibly small as compared to the volume of the content this is assumption we have discussed earlier for an ideal gas and when this is uh, moving you know like uh, there will be some separation distance between the gas right it is not that all are compact like a solid or in a liquid right <coughs> so these are moving so there is a separation distance the average separation uh, separating distance between gas particles is quite large that means you know one particle is here another particle will be somewhere else right <coughs> so as a result the fourth force of attraction and repulsion between molecules is negligible right there is not much this thing and these molecules with higher kinetic energy right will be moving around right and colliding with others right and it will be moving with a very high velocity right and whenever there is a collision taking place that will be elastic in nature what does it mean either they are colliding each other or they are colliding with the wall that will be elastic in nature. That means, there would not be any change in the kinetic energy or the velocity with which it will be colliding it will be not reduced, but that is not the case you know it will be reduced right we have seen. And as it is moving in the randomly it is very difficult to handle why because if I will track one of the one molecules talk about velocity and then about momentum about the all the forces acting and then doing solving you know even it will be small volume of 1 centimeter cube if I will consider it is very difficult to you know 
handle that even using the best supercomputer available in the world at this moment. Are you getting? So, therefore, we will have to do that thing in a statistical way, that means average way, right. And um, treatment can be possible only when the large number of molecules is you know like uh, numbers number of molecules involved is quite large and kind of thing. And interaction, uh, uh, I cannot take a few molecules and then consider okay this is the statistical, then statistics having no meaning you know <laughs> right. Therefore, large number of molecules will be there. But whereas, if I go to the other one actual simulation lesser the number of molecules better it will be <laughs> because I can my situation or handling will be easier. The interaction among the molecules are negligible small except during the collision when it is colliding because there is no in, uh, forces of attractions and repulsion therefore when it is not colliding you don't have much thing in that and mean free path is quite large as compared to the molecular size right mean free path means the distance between two collision basically is the is the uh, mean free path and pressure applied on the walls of the container is due to collision of gas molecule with the container, not any other effect. Okay. The molecules of gas moves with the different velocities right, and different kinetic energies and of course, you can consider that it will be different molecular weight, mass will be also different, but we would not be considered that thing as you go along we will see we will be considering a Sing mass, uh, you know, mass remains, you know, uh, mass is same for all molecules. We will start, then we will have to do that. Kinetic energy of gas molecule depends on the temperature of the gas, right? Because the higher the temperature, the kinetic energy will be higher because the molecule will be moving at a faster velocity or the speed. So, uh, what we will do? We will now basically invoke this kinetic theory of gases. Uh, from the very simple things what you might have studied in your class 2, but you might have forgotten by this time. So, we will recall it and then do that. Okay. So, let us consider a Q here right? and uh, let us say this is having x direction and this is having y direction, this is having z direction. Okay. Let us say there is a I mean we are considering starting with a one particle right kind of things and then we will move into that other one. Let us say there is a particle here right which is moving with a velocity v x and it will move what will happen? It will go and hit the wall this is your wall right. and it will go and heat and then it will come heat this thing what will happen? Elastic collision that means it will be coming and this is having mass m, this particle is having mass m. So, therefore, what happens? This will be coming with the velocity v x mass is same m right because of elastic collision. Now, I want to find out what will be the pressure of an ideal gas because we are considering ideal gas right. Now, as collision is perfectly elastic therefore, V x in the what you call positive x direction is same as when it will be just returning back with the same velocity right. So, therefore, change in momentum of this molecule right in x direction what it would be mass is not changing mass is same ok m final minus initial right what is final final is what it would be? Minus v x minus initial will be minus v x that is 2 m v x right. 
but there is a conservation of momentum. So, therefore, the momentum change in momentum or you know imparted to the wall right. is equal to 2 m v x just negative sign like will go away. Now, if you look at I want to find out you know let us say uh, total number of collision which will be taking place on, on this wall right because my interest is to find out pressure right. Pressure is basically force upon area. So, for force I want to find out, I will have to find out rate of change of momentum right and by the all the particles. And if it is all the particle, let us take that you know there are uh, let n be the number of identical gas particles I can say molecules okay, particles per unit volume. What is this n that means n is basically number density right is not it, it will be number density. that is nothing but n naught by v. What is n naught? Number of particles or molecules whatever you call right. I can say molecule because I will be using molecules later on ok. And v is the volume. Now, I want to find out and keep in mind that this is occurring in a very small interval of time delta t ok, because this when is colliding is the time is very very small is the go and collide very fraction very small time scale right. During this small time right during delta t right number of collision right with velocity v x right collisions of molecules right. I am using particle molecules you know in a interchangeable ok. With v x right what it would be? What it would be? How many part you know number of collision is taking place. If you look at what it would be number of collision means number of particles will be there like that many collision will be taking place is it so. That means, can I write down here number of collision means basically n into v is it right? That is not right because we are considering it will go and again go back and hit and come back. So, this will be half yes or no it will hit it will come back and hit this wall this is also wall. If I am considering along with x direction only that means, it will come and hit other wall also yes or no that means, this will be divided by 2 is that clear no because the particle is going and coming then it is going and hit here and again it will come back. So, therefore, half right. So, now what is this volume then? Because I need to calculate this volume. What will be this volume? Volume will be v x right with the velocity which is moving into area if I consider this is my area right ok into delta t into area because v x is meter per second this delta t during that delta t it is occurring. So, this is the v. So, therefore, total momentum transfer
to the wall by all the molecules, what it would be? We know the momentum transfer pi to the wall right by the single particle or single molecule what is that 2 m v x into what into will be number of particles right is not it yes or no that means n v by 2 n and v is v x delta t area divided by 2 to, to cancel it out. So, I will get n m v x square right delta t into a right yes or no. So, now I will have to find out total momentum then what will be the rate rate of change of momentum will be divided by delta t and what will be pressure I will write down pressure will be rate of change of momentum right uh, that is right ok let, let me write down rate of change of momentum divided by area. So, that will be this is your total momentum change that means, what is the rate of momentum rate of change of momentum that is ok let me write down here because rate of change of momentum is nothing but n m v x square delta t a divided by delta t right because this is change in momentum right this will cancel it out i will get n m v x square area right and this is then i will write down n m v x square area divided by area cancel it out and there will be also what you call n m v x square right. And keep in mind that this is about only one single this things right that might be is not that uh, particle or the molecule will go and hit the wall in the x direction right is it possible is not possible. So, the total velocity if I take in a write down vectorial form will be v x if I say this is i and then v y j plus v z k because all three direction it can happen. But if I consider this to be isotropic let means for isotropic case situation right v x is equal to v y is equal to v z right ok are you getting. Now, keep in mind that we are looking at statistically therefore, there will be some average also right. So, I can write down v x average square is equal to v y because there are several number of particles are there it is not a single particle there will be n number of particles. So, therefore, you need to look at average velocity right average velocity right and uh, is equal to v z average square because this is average velocity right along x direction that is v x square. And is equal to I can write down as 3 v x square average plus v y square average plus v z square average right. I can is equal to z square average I am just representing it, right 1 by 3 I can write down because if I say this is V that means keep in mind that this is basically average over the things right this I can say uh, right because of fact that this is, there are several number of molecules are there therefore, we need to consider average velocity. <coughs> so, therefore, I can write down P if I say this is equation 1 then equation 1 
for uh, becomes p i can say this is uh, what you call p is equal to uh, 1 by 3 n m v dash average square right is for the all the molecules what we are considering that might be thousands of molecules okay but that average velocity we are talking about right now <coughs> you might be wondering why we are doing that why we will be looking at pressure when you talk about uh, what you call collision theory and other things but we will see that we will be more interested to look at the pressure is also important and also the we will have to look at what will be the average velocity right, of the molecules or, or the uh, average speed of the molecules. So, let us uh, look at that if you look at we have seen that P we have seen that is 1 by 3 n m v average square right. If I say this is P v, P v means is a what you call volume, this is the v is volume. Keep in mind that I am using v for velocity and v for volume ok, is equal to 1 by 3 n m v square into v I can write down v here yes yes and no now what is this n v n v is nothing but your n naught is equal to n v so I can write down 1 by 3 n naught right m v square divided by 2 into 2 I can write down 2 here and what is this one? This is basically translational velocity or the kinetic energy of the molecules which is due to the motion. What you call this? This we call it as a internal energy can you call it? Because the molecules are there it is going and heating right. Of course, there might be a molecule which will be vibration vibrating right and there will be also rotational, but you are considering the single and then this will be we call it as a internal energy due to translation ok. That means, this is basically 2 by 3. By that I can write down that P V is equal to 2 by 3 u. Can I write down? 2 by 3 u, u is the internal energy due to translation, translational motion. That means, ok, we know from for ideal gas law right for ideal gas law p v is equal to 2 by 3 u is equal to n r u t yes or no right and I can write down this thing is basically we know this thing right. <coughs> I can write down basically u is equal to 3 by 2 n r u t and uh, what is this u? u is equal to n naught m v square by 2 right that is nothing but u is equal to 3 by 2 n r u t so, this will cancel it out. So, therefore, what will be 3 n r u t right divided by n m right n naught yes you are right n naught. 
Now, what is n? n we know it will be n naught divided by a v. What is a v? Avogadro's number. Okay, Avogadro's number. This is m by molecular weight. So, this is Avogadro's number. Now, I will put this one here that is 3 in place of n, n naught, right. Keep in mind what is this velocity? Yes, what is this velocity? This is basically velocity for molecule, right. This velocity is for a molecule, average velocity square. Why? Because I am dividing the n number of molecules, yes or no? n number is there maybe some you know million molecules will be there or maybe 10,000 molecules whatever it may be dividing. So, therefore, in, a, in place of n I am now writing n naught right divided by a v and this is your r u t n naught m. So, this will cancel it out right v square. And what is this m and a v? m a v is nothing but your molecular weight, right? Yes or no? So, therefore, this velocity if I take root, this became v r m s root is equal to root. So, v r m s is equal to root over 3 r u t divided by molecular weight. Okay, make sense? And if you look at v r m s is proportional to what? Proportional to t half and v r m s is inversely proportional to molecular weight by half. That means, if temperature is higher, that means temperature is higher, V R M S will be higher. If molecule, the molecular weight will be lower, that means lighter molecules will have V R M S will be higher, yes or no. And keep in mind that molecular speed is independent of of what pressure ok. So, we will stop over here and we will discuss in the next class like what will be the I will take an example what is the you know velocity what order velocity will be there will it be you know centimeter per second, meter per second or something more that we will see taking some few small example. Okay, thank you very much.